Endoscopic Management of Enteral Tubes in Adult Patients, Part 2, Peri- and Post-Procedural Management, European Society of Gastrointestinal Endoscopy, ESGE, Guideline. Introduction. Enteral tube feeding is one of the cornerstones of nutritional support since it allows the provision of enteral nutrition, EN, in patients who have a functionally normal digestive tract but cannot meet their nutritional requirements because of inadequate oral intake. Enteral tube insertion is a major part of the daily activity of an endoscopic unit. In the UK alone, for example, up to 17,000 percutaneous endoscopic gastrostomies, PEGs, are placed annually. Nevertheless, procedure-related morbidity and even mortality remain an important concern, especially taking into consideration that the patient population involved is already frail. Furthermore, there are still numerous controversies related to enteral tube insertion. This evidence-based guideline was commissioned by the European Society of Gastrointestinal Endoscopy, ESGE, and aims to address all major issues concerning endoscopic management of enteral tubes. This is the second of the two parts of the guideline and is dedicated to peri- and post-procedural considerations including adverse events, AEs, and their management. The first part, published as a separate manuscript, focused on definitions, enteral access, and tube modalities, and pre-procedural considerations, including pre-procedural assessment and indications and contraindications for enteral tube insertion. Main Recommendations ESGE recommends the pull technique as the standard method for percutaneous endoscopic gastrostomy, PEG, placement. Strong recommendation, low quality evidence. ESGE recommends the direct percutaneous introducer, PUSH, technique for PEG placement in cases where the pull method is contraindicated, for example, in severe esophageal stenosis or in patients with head and neck cancer, HNC, or esophageal cancer. Strong recommendation, low quality evidence. ESGE recommends the intravenous administration of a prophylactic single dose of a beta lactam antibiotic or appropriate alternative antibiotic in the case of allergy to decrease the risk of post procedural wound infection. Strong recommendation, moderate quality evidence. ESGE recommends that inadvertent insertion of a nasogastric tube, NGT, into the respiratory tract should be considered a serious but avoidable adverse event, AE. Strong recommendation, low quality evidence. ESGE recommends that each institution should have a dedicated protocol to confirm correct positioning of NGTs placed blindly at the patient's bedside. This should include radiography, pH testing of the aspirate, and end tidal carbon dioxide monitoring, but not auscultation alone. Strong recommendation, low quality evidence. ESGE recommends confirmation of correct NGT placement by radiography in high-risk patients, intensive care unit, ICU patients, or those with altered consciousness or absent gag or cough reflex. Strong recommendation, low quality evidence. ESGE recommends that EN be started within three to four hours after uncomplicated placement of a PEG or PEG-J. Strong recommendation, high quality evidence. ESGE recommends that daily tube mobilization, pushing inward, along with a loose position of the external peg, bumper, one to two centimeters from the abdominal wall, could mitigate the risk of development of buried bumper syndrome. Strong recommendation, low quality evidence.